Hello there everyone, hi, welcome to today's video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Neva, and today I'm gonna be talking about how I knew I was pregnant. There is something called the two week wait when you're trying to get pregnant or not trying to get pregnant, but worried that you're pregnant, essentially from the moment that you conceive to the moment when you can take a pregnancy test and get a real um, official result. So there's two weeks that you have to wait before you know if you're pregnant or not. And it's a really intense and stressful couple of weeks, whether you wanna be pregnant or you don't wanna be pregnant because you basically just can't know. And I am currently in my second trimester now, but when I was in the two week wait, I was so impatient to know if I was pregnant. I wanted to be pregnant and I just remember Googling what were your symptoms when you were in the two week wait? How did you know you were pregnant? And so today I'm gonna be telling all of you my symptoms and how I knew that I was pregnant. Because while you can't know for sure, there are definitely a lot of signs and symptoms that I had. Not everyone has them. Some people have absolutely no clue that they could be pregnant, but I and my husband had somewhat of an idea. We weren't certain of course, but we definitely noticed a lot of different changes and stuff with me. So today I'm just gonna be going over a little list of all the ways that I knew I was pregnant and the symptoms I had during the two week wait. So if you're curious about that, keep watching. So the first and number one symptom that I had during the two week wait was that I was starving hungry. I actually don't know if this is a normal like beginning of pregnancy symptom. Maybe it was just a coincidence, but I was so hungry. Like all I wanted to do was eat junk food and fast food. Like I kept asking my husband if we could get Burger King. It was, which is not something I ever want. Like I have no interest in fast food normally and I just wanted to eat junk. I wanted to eat bread and butter and bread and cheese. Like it was just really weird. And my husband kept saying like, okay, either you're really about to get your period and it's gonna be a really intense period because you're being weird or you're pregnant because I never eat like that. It was really intense. I actually haven't heard anyone else say that this is a symptom that they had during their two week wait, but it was definitely one for me. I think just because there's a really big hormonal change that obviously affects everyone in different ways and it made me starving hungry. The next symptom that I faced during the two week wait was that I was super, super over emotional, really sensitive. I was like crying during movies and TV shows at things I would just never normally cry at. I was getting upset with my husband for things that normally wouldn't really bother me, at least not enough to get really upset about. And I was just having these intense waves of emotions that I normally wouldn't have. Now this I think is tricky because it can definitely also be a sign that you're gonna get your period. Although I definitely don't get period symptoms a week before I start my period. So the fact that I was already this emotional just after like a week or so, like a week before I would have gotten my period was a sign to me that this is not normal. Another sign that I was pregnant and one that is very, very normal and a lot of people experience when they are pregnant is that I was getting cramps. This is like the trickiest symptom I think because obviously when we get our periods, we get cramps. And so it was really hard to differentiate between these types of cramps and period cramps. The only reason I thought that I was pre having like pregnancy, like implantation cramps is because when I get my period, I get horrible, horrible, extremely strong cramps and they come in like blocks, like kind of like waves, but they, they last for a much longer time. And this was like small little cramps I would have for like a few minutes and then it would just disappear. And it would happen like all throughout a couple of days. It was very weird. And it just didn't feel like my normal period cramps. They were pretty mild. Like when you feel like you're about to start getting your period. So once again, it's tricky to know for sure, but yes, I did have some cramping and that is super normal in the two week wait. I also had really bad lower back pain, which is something that a lot of people experience on their period, but I don't. I don't get back pain on my period. And so that to me was a pretty big indicator that this was a pregnancy symptom and not a period symptom. So I think that's really interesting because I was having all of these types of hormonal indicators, but for some people they would just be um, period indicators. And for me, they were pregnancy indicators. 
I was also really, really bloated. And this is something that I do experience when I get my period. I get really bloated on my period and I was really, really bloated for basically two weeks and then also throughout basically my entire first trimester of pregnancy. So while this could have just been a sign that I was getting my period, it was just another thing to add to the list of a bunch of symptoms that I was having. So yes, like a lot of people, who are about to be pregnant or who are becoming pregnant, whatever you wanna call it, I was very bloated. Another symptom that was actually really weird that I didn't expect was how lightheaded I was. I do not know the scientific reasoning behind why this happens, I'm sure I could just look it up, but it's very weird. Like I would be laying down and I would get up and I would be really dizzy, like really lightheaded, which is not normal for me at all. It was really intense. And it was just a very weird thing that I, kept wondering like, oh, why is this happening? And I was suddenly starting to realize, oh, maybe it's because I'm pregnant because I've never experienced being lightheaded like that unless I was like getting off a roller coaster or something. So it was really weird. But apparently being lightheaded is actually a pretty normal um, symptom of pregnancy in the two week wait and also in the first trimester. So that was interesting. A symptom I had that was not a great indicator for me because it's something I experience when I get my period is that my boobs were really, really sore and tender and like felt like they were growing, which obviously they were starting to. I was experiencing a rush of hormones, so it makes sense, but it didn't tell me that I was pregnant because that's like the number one most normal thing for me to experience when I'm about to have my period. And I think that's the same for most people when they're about to get their period. Having sore breasts is super, super normal, but it is also a symptom that you might have in the two week wait. And last but not least, the symptom that was also really weird, but apparently very normal, is that I kept needing to pee even when I didn't really need to pee. Like I had this constant feeling of needing to pee, but I really didn't, like I would go and it would be barely any pee that would come out. It was really weird. And now that I'm in my second trimester, I experience this a lot that I always feel like I need to pee and I pee a lot, even when I don't really need to, especially in the night. Like if I drink just a little bit too much liquid before I go to bed, I'll definitely have to get up and pee in the middle of the night. And I didn't usually used to have this big of an issue with that. And yeah, in the two week wait, it's also a normal thing that like because your hormones are changing, you might feel like you need to pee all the time even when you don't necessarily really need to pee. I know that the two week wait is really, really hard. Whether you're hoping to be pregnant or hoping to not be pregnant, it's pretty stressful and I'm someone who's really impatient and I really struggled during these couple of weeks. I was really also like in denial, like not allowing myself to believe that I could be pregnant because I didn't wanna be disappointed if I wasn't. And my husband was like just so sure that I was pregnant. He definitely knew and I sort of wouldn't let myself believe it. And I also wanna add here quickly on the end for anyone who is in the two week wait, I would recommend waiting to test until you're really supposed to get your period, until you're really two weeks later, until it's like the day that you would get your period, I would just wait to test because I tested for my pregnancy the day before I should have had my period. So basically two weeks later, just about, and it was negative. I got a negative pregnancy test, even though I was pregnant. And the next day when I should have gotten my period and it didn't come, I tested again, just like less than 24 hours later. And then I had a positive pregnancy test. So I would just recommend not testing because you end up feeling really disappointed and upset. And there's like no reason to because you could easily be pregnant. So, or maybe you'll be happy that you're not pregnant and then you'll be kind of like having a problem because you'll think you're not pregnant, but you really are. So I would just really recommend waiting, that's all. Of course, everyone can do whatever they want. And if you just are way too impatient and you can't wait, like I was, go ahead and take one and then just make sure you know that it might be false and take it again the next day or the day after that or whatever. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was somewhat informative for you if you are hoping to be pregnant or hoping to not be pregnant and you're looking for some information from a, I don't know, somewhat reliable source. I'm just explaining what happened to me. I'm obviously not a doctor or professional or anything, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. And Hopefully next week I will have another video out about something else to do with my pregnancy. I'm really excited to try to document as much as I can, but I'm honestly pretty bad about keeping a good upload schedule here on YouTube. So don't hold it against me if things take a little bit longer than I say I want them to. But yeah, I guess that's it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.